calcium hydroxide. Well, how do you get calcium hydroxide? What? You can let it sit out. Yeah. Okay. So, wait, actually, turn that off. So, we're gonna <laughs> stick your gloves. What? Your gloves. I know. They're perfect. Okay. So, now that it's zeroed out, let's measure 8 grams. I mean, not 8. Um, how many grams are we going to measure? 4 grams, yeah. I said 6. Uh, no, 6 grams of calcium chloride. Sodium hydroxide. Let's see, is that? That's about here. I gotta pour a little back in. Because I had 5 grams. No, I still have 5 grams. Okay, now I've got 4. Yep. So, oh wait, we're also going to need water. Um, but we can get that in a second. So, here's our sodium hydroxide. But you never saw how much it was. How much water, you mean? No, yeah, it had 4. Look. 4 grams. Okay, now we're going to zero that out. Put this on there. Measure six grams of calcium chloride. That tells you how many grams. Mm -hmm. Tells you multiple things, but I'm using grams. There we go. That's six. Yeah, okay. six. Yep, that's what we want. Okay, now we need 25 milliliters for the calcium chloride and um, 15 milliliters for the sodium hydroxide, so let's go get that. Okay, we got it back on. Okay, so let's just put the sodium hydroxide in here temporarily. Temporarily. And we're going to measure out 20, I mean, 15 milliliters of water. There we go. That's a little more. 18. So 15, there you go. Now, you're going to add it slowly because uh, if you add it too fast, it's very exothermic and it will uh, actually boil the water. I have a feeling we're probably going to need more than it said. Sodium hydroxide is very soluble, but um, let's just add 25. It's not just a little bit. But yeah, well, now we have 25 milliliters. Slowly. I know. We need a stirring. Oh. Here, I'll be the commercial guy. Um. Oh. Oh, then you can't get up. So. <laughs> now we're back. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm really easy. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Okay, it's almost all dissolved. Mm -hmm. Just add the rest, like 